Are you on? You're on. Okay. Two-dimensional surface, and in reality, they're in three dimensions. Okay, so we're going to deal with the molecular structure or the 3D uh, shape of a molecule, and we're going to use the valence shell electron pair repulsion model or the Vesper model, which is simply this. Okay, it says the theory that postulates the that the structure around a given atom is determined principal principally by minimizing electron pair repulsion. So what I mean by that is if I'm doing this, this guy is going to form a shape that minimizes the electrons repelling each other. This is why I tend to write this Lewis structure the way that I write it instead of like this. Right? The reason why I write them with the with the with the Lewis structure on the bottom is because I'm trying my best to show that these things are electrons and electrons do what to other electrons? They repel. And if I look here, I got 180 degrees. Here I got a 90. Here I got a 90. When in reality, if you have three dimensions, that those those are actually going to be larger than what they would expect on two dimensions because you have more space them to be even further apart. So if I were to actually get a protractor out here and figure out what this angle is, in reality on three dimensions, that those angles would be even larger because you're you have a third dimension that you can, can tap into. Okay? So really essentially the Vesper theory is is the shape, the the Zepper theory, however you want to say it, the shape is really primarily determined by the fact that they're going to form a particular structure that minimizes the repulsion and maximizes the um, attractive forces. Okay, so one way to figure out how our shape works, we have to first identify what is considered a region of electron concentration. So, I don't know why I erased that, so I'll put it back up here, since we're having a good time staying on track today and not wasting time. Um, Looking at this guy, we got to figure out around the central atom how many regions of electron concentration we have. You should remember this from last year, at least a little bit. Okay. Um, also, this is specifically around the central atom because that's where everything pivots. But right? I wouldn't be looking at this region of electron concentration on this guy and how everything pivots around that because it doesn't. Does that make sense? So when we're talking about this, it's always around the central atom. Now, each of these things represent one region. For example, this is a double bond, but they're in the same region, aren't they? So it's one region. So how many regions of electron concentration do I have on this particular guy? Three. 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 That makes sense? Any of these things exist as one region, okay? So if I had something like this, how many regions? Four, right? Because a lone pair is still electrons that would also repel other bonded electrons, correct? Okay. Now, believe it or not, the lone pairs actually repel more than the bonding pairs because of their location. Okay. Now, 
Next thing we have to deal with here. <coughs> you guys got this in your in your notes. Yeah, okay. yeah. Woo! Look at all this stuff you guys got to memorize by your test tomorrow. Oh wait, it's not tomorrow. Tuesday. Tuesday. Oh, wait, maybe it should be tomorrow. <laughs> maybe, maybe it should. We should write it down. Okay. Now I want you to first and foremost note that this on down we did last year. Do you guys remember the acronym for it? Okay. Do you guys remember that here's how many regions of electron concentration you have, and then the number of those regions that are bonded was what told you the structure. So for example, if I have this again, how many regions is it? Four. Four. How many of those regions are bonded? Three. It's a four three, so what's its shape? Pyramidal. Now the only angles I'll make you memorize are the bent ones. Okay? I'm not going to make you memorize all of those angles. Okay? So, for the sake of time here, do we want to try to come up with some acronym here for those top guys? It would be a little difficult because I got SB, SB, TB, S, something like that. But Square pants. Square pants, square pants. What about the O? I know. Our. Our square pants, square pants. Our tight, square pants. But tight but square. <laughs> <laughs> tight but square. Too loose. Too loose. Too lame. <laughs> Too lame. Our square pants. Square pants. Square pants. <laughs> like buffalo, buffalo. Our square pants, square pants. Tight but what? No. <laughs> what was it? Tight. Tight but tight, comma B U T. Not not. Yeah, not tight. Tight but. but. <laughs> well, we got tight pants. You gotta. Uh, anyway. uh, tight but. Tight, you still remember that's on camera. Tight, <laughs> show, but, but show, but still show, but still, but still, still, but still too loose. No show, As still, 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 but still too loose. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's too lame. You have to get lame. Oh, okay. Too loose, but still too lame. The tight pants are lame. Our square pants, square pants, tight, but still too loose. Tight pants be lame. Tight pants be lame. Lame, lame. I like that. <laughs> How are they tight but loose? Um, <laughs> exactly, it's funny. Wait, that's like my, I have pants that are like too tight around my ankles, but then they're like loose now. They need to stop? Well, you must have some severe ankles. <laughs> no, it's like, <laughs> like, like, my parents bought me like skinny jeans, and then like, here's a 32, and I'm like, I'm like a 30, and so I'm like, my belt's like super tight, and it's like still not that. Well, our square pants, square pants, tight, but still too loose. <laughs> tight, pants, too late. Tight, pants, too late. Our square pants, square pants, tight, but still too loose. Ah, that is, a, that is, that is good. Yes. Ah, what did you say? We totally have a tester for this tomorrow. <laughs> no, uh, now, again, there's a nice trend here. Again, 666. <laughs> 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 this is better than the video. You better post this one. You better. I was on YouTube just subscribing. Well, no, but you have to have a school to do before it. No, you just on YouTube. I think they've done some past efforts. <laughs> what a nice thing! What a nice thing! See, now I've had a fun little bit. There's a nice trend here. <laughs> okay, six by four, and then you got four fives. Five, four, three. Do you, do you see the nice yeah. trend? Okay. <laughs> the administration doesn't see the videos, right? I hope not. But some parent will probably see it eventually, and then 20 years from now, you'll be like, hey, Mr. Kramer's still a Grandview, Grandview, Grandview Christian, and you're like, oh no, he got fired, got, got a lawsuit on his head, and he said, but in class. Your <laughs> <laughs> teacher puts foot and not wounds again. Okay, so just, just notice that they're, they're, these aren't that difficult. To remember, on hedro, it's pretty simple. These both have square in them. Um, you got pyramidal, and then you got bipyramidal. You got a seesaw, which is something you wrote on when you were kids. And 
Then you got a T. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like whatever it is that you need to do to remember this. And like six of them up there are linear. So, anyways. All the linear examples are here. I was just watching Oh, yeah. Alright, so there's the, some shapes here just for your enjoyment from a three dimensional standpoint. There's your little octahedral shape. The deck. Yeah. There's your square pyramidal. And so your lone pair would be on the bottom. Those actually repel more than bonded pairs. That's why you see the biggest angle there. Uh, square planar, you're going to have electrons on the top here and bone pairs on the bottom. <laughs> this is the 5-5 five, five guy. So five regions, five bonded. And notice that they're all going to be the same angle away from each other. Now it's hard to see this, but like the angle from here to here is the same angle from here to here if you flipped it. Is it the same angle from the vertical one? It should be all the same angle for every single one of them. Except oh, I see the top and bottom ones. That's just Well yeah. Yes, how about stuff? Yeah. Uh, there's your seesaw, this is a five four, so your lone pair is again over here on the top. And this would be a 5-3, so your lone pairs are probably going to be like this way and into the page of angle. Okay. <sighs> Alright, so it looks like uh, they just want us to predict the geometric structure for these three guys. Okay, the Lewis structure for the first one is pro. Do you want to just try it or do you want me to just show you quick? Or just show us. Okay, so there's five there's five electrons around phosphor. Since I have five chlorines, it's probably just gonna form five single bonds. And I, for the sake of time, I'm not gonna put all the lone pairs around chlorine because we're not really focusing on Lewis structures here, we're focusing on shape. And all that really matters is the central atom in this case. So this would be a 5-5 five, five structure. Trigonal by Okay, next one is the positive. So I've got five around phosphorus, and since I have four chlorines around, I'm guessing one of those electrons around phosphorus is going to be removed. Yeah. There's your plus. So this guy's actually a 4-4. Four, four. Oh, it's tetrahedral. Do we actually have to like try that shape? Or do you have to yeah, no, I'm just trying to do my best to follow the fact that these things repel because it's not exactly this shape. Wait, how do you know it's a Four regions are on phosphorus and four of those regions are bonded. Okay? Last one here. You've got six chlorines. So I'm guessing that additional electrons going to go on that central atom to give phosphorus six and an ability to bond six times. And this is going to be your greatest one. Octahedral. I really don't think, the hardest part about the molecular geometry is simply just knowing the shapes. It's pretty simple, especially, you know, taking chemistry and, and seeing it once. Yeah, you probably could have no problem doing your homework with this. It's up to you. I won't make it due tomorrow, but unless you want me to make it due tomorrow. I mean, the only thing I was predict Yeah, which is what you're going to do in your homework. If you just want to do your homework, then we'll, we'll go over the homework and start reviewing. Yeah. Yeah.
So it seems to hurt us that much. We'll be optimist, square, disgust. It's funny. You know what's funny about that whole situation? 